Hey yo, what is up guys, it's Sam, back on the channel, listen, hey, it feels good, it feels good to be back on the screen. We're on the fourth video now of the second half of the videos I've got for this week, and I have one more video after this, what you're going to see tonight. But um, pretty much guys, today's video we're going to be revisiting a topic that I spoke about a couple of years back, when I first got back onto YouTube, after not being on YouTube since secondary school. Good times, man. Good times. I remember I was 17. I didn't really care about much. And I just jumped on YouTube thinking, wow, why have I neglected this gift for public speaking that I have and stopped doing it because I got a little bit of hate in school? If I'd have just stayed true to myself and done what I wanted to do, then shit, I could have been a millionaire off YouTube by now. And that kind of plays into today's concept of the video. Because obviously you guys have read the title. And this video is actually about, you know, we all die at some point. We all, well, there's no proven way that we live more than one life. Now, it's kind of hard for me to say now because I feel like I'm not doing, I like, don't get me wrong, I'm achieving a lot of my goals. And I'm doing the things I'm setting out to do. But there's certain things that I feel like I'm not doing that I should be doing. A lot of it, a lot of it comes down to when I'm at work, I get a lot of um, impulsive thoughts of just walking, of just getting up and walking out and going and doing whatever the fuck I feel like that day. And I feel like most people who work some kind of job, or at least a full-time job, will get that exact same feeling. Now, it's something that I get frequently, like a lot of the time, and... Um, it just makes me think back to the video that I actually did make. And you guys can go back and watch that video right now. I'm pretty sure the video title is We All Die. Or We All Die at some point. Um, and I'm pretty, I think the thumbnail is like me. Like looking lean with my abs out. Looking like a complete fuck boy. With like my longer hair. I don't know what I was doing. But that's the thumbnail. And um, it makes me think back to the mindset I had at that time. Because I was 17 years old. I had crazy confidence, way more confidence than I, than I have at this time in my life. And I feel like I had a lot of testosterone, but I could just approach anyone and speak about anything to them, basically. And now that's crazy to think back to. Like, I was not scared of approaching anyone. I would literally speak to anyone. And thinking back to that, being the person I am now, I haven't changed, but I mean, I like, don't get me wrong, I've still got it inside me, but I, don't, I haven't been practicing it in a while. Like, the last time I cold approached someone, shit, I don't even know, I must have been months ago. The last time I went up to someone to speak to someone, like, who I'd never spoken to before, was months ago, probably. And thinking back to that, that's like, <sighs> like, how, about, how did I have so much confidence to just, say and speak whatever I wanted to anyone like it came it seemed like it seemed like it came out of nowhere but I think it just came out of the constant realization that at some point in your life you are going to die so you need to do exactly what you want to do in this life just in case like say for example myself I believe in reincarnation right but the thought that that's not fully confirmed and it hasn't been proved should scare the fuck out of you and it should make you want to do everything that you set out to do in this life, like anything that you want to do. Now, it had me thinking recently, like the one thing you can, or you probably would regret when you're older or when you're on your deathbed is like not doing things that you thought looked cool or that you thought looked fun because, you know, you wanted to stack money or you wanted to do this other thing. Now, I'm pretty confident in my abilities. I'm confident that I'm going to be successful in my eyes one day anytime soon anyway in the next coming years so i feel like if there's anything that i really want to do that i consider fun i feel like i should just do it no matter the cost and no matter what kind of impact it has on me maybe yeah fair enough if it's going prison or if someone else is going to get harmed by it maybe not but i just think like all these impulsive thoughts i get when i'm at work to just get up leave and just i don't even know set sail and become a pirate one day and sail the seven seas instead of being in a fucking office like 
I feel like everyone gets these things, but no one acts upon them. But listen, guys, if I ever if I ever decide to act upon those impulsive thoughts, I'll just get up in the workplace and start recording. And say, hey, yo, what is up, guys? It's Sam back on the channel. Here. Listen, I'm gonna become a pirate or some. I don't even know some random shit like that. But who knows, man? Listen, I just think the things that we have impulsive thoughts about, or the things that we visualize, we should act upon more and make our sole purposes to actually enjoy our, well not, I want to say enjoy our lives but be fulfilled with our lives and do the things that re, we really want to do now like I said the concept is that obviously we only live one life but I feel like when I was a kid there's a lot of things I wish I did that I didn't get to do and now that's my youth that, that period of my youth is gone like that's one thing if, if you guys are similar age to me you know I'm 19 years old if you guys are similar age to me, you've got to think to yourself, wow, I'm not a kid anymore, and that stage of my life is entirely gone. Like, fair enough, you have no control, really, over anything when you're a kid, but you have a consciousness, and I feel like there's a lot of things I should have done as a youth that I wish I'd have done that I just didn't. Like, things you could have got away with, like, I wish I'd have done, I wish I'd have fought back more in school, like, I, I wish I didn't, like, sort of stand down to bullies, because realistically, the worst thing that's going to happen, you're going to get into a small scrap, and then the teachers are just going to split it up, like, you're not going to get killed, you know what I mean, so, I just wish, there's a, there's a lot of things I wish I did, but now I'm kind of in the mind state where I need to get that confidence back to the point where I can cold approach anyone, to the point where I can, you know, say and speak my mind freely, without fear, to the point where I don't even know. Just just be fully confident in myself and my abilities. Because I was when I was 17. And back then, fair enough, I, I was somewhat intelligent for my age. And I um, I guess I was somewhat handsome. And I knew what I wanted out of life. But what made me that confident to the point where I could, I could just go up to anyone. I think it was literally just the thought that you only live once. So live how you want to live, pretty much. Because thinking about it now, like, if you guys, I mean, I'm private, like I said in, in some of my previous videos, I've privated most of my public videos that I made, and even some of the older videos of me just literally speaking my mind. But if I, when I watch them back now, fair enough, they're fucking cringy. But I do think to myself, I'm like, wow, like, how the hell? did I approach that girl, or how the hell did I say that to these people, like, it just baffles me, man, but anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for today, just wanted to explain that, you know, we, we only, as far as we know, we only live once, fucking make the most of it, man, peace.